The sounds of squealing tires pierced the downtown core at 3 a.m. as a blue Vega peeled out of the parking lot of the 7-Eleven. Our heroes stumbled out of the doors of that fine franchise to discover that his buddies were driving away. Yeah, they were driving away and giggling. There'd be no ride home tonight. Not on this good eve. Bastards, he mumbled. And he stepped out of the doors of the 7-Eleven and jettisoning the butt end of his pierogi up over the roof, he waited for the satisfying squish. And then he walked to the sidewalk, lit a cigarette and burped a sickly sweet burp of 7-Eleven cola. Thank God I'm not a diabetic, he screamed. And then he headed north into the alleyway. Halfway in, he passed a dumpster, from behind which he heard the sounds of two people locked in struggle. But whether they were fighting or fornicating, he knew not, nor did he care. He wandered further in, past piles of desiccated garbage dating from the 1960s. Past where winos slept like clumps from a broken bag of dolls. He went right to the end of that alleyway. He went right to the end, and our hero sat down on a concrete parking slab. He sat down among the muck and the filth. He sat down among the smells and the garbage. And he took out his contact lenses. He had no comforting saline solution. He owned no contact lens carrying case. He didn't even have any fingers. He gouged the lenses out of his eyes with his thumb. And grabbing a handy rusty tin can, he spit in it until it was full of Mother Nature's own preservative. And he dropped the lenses in. And then, with a crack that split the night, he put on his glasses.